In the video for today, I'm going to show you how to turn on theft protection for an Android phone in 2025. So by turning on theft protection, what you're basically going to do is you're going to make your phone traceable when it is lost or stolen or if it is misplaced in a local area. So I urge you to watch my video completely till the end so that you do this properly and we ensure that our phone is recoverable when it is misplaced. Now, in order for you to set this up, get hold of your Android phone. Once you do that, get to settings directly. Once you get to settings, do a search for theft protection. Okay simple and easy once you do that you get directed to this screen for theft protection on this screen you get to see a lot of options the first option is theft detection lock you need to turn this on once you do that your device is going to sense if somebody has abruptly grabbed your phone or taken your phone and ran away our phones have motion sensors it has wi-fi and bluetooth connectivity if it detects unusual activity it is automatically going to lock your phone so that nobody else can unlock it the next option is offline device lock you need to put this on this is going to ensure that when your phone goes offline it locks itself next you could also set up remote lock for your android phone this helps you to remote lock your phone from another android phone or a windows pc or whatever it is when your phone is stolen so you go ahead and click on remote lock you get to the screen turn on use remote lock now what's going to happen is that if your phone is stolen your phone gets locked obviously because the other settings were on you could get onto any pc or phone and go to android.com forward slash lock and put in your phone number that is in your phone when it was misplaced and lock the device simple and easy right you could watch this video of mine to understand how this is done properly but for now this is the setting you need to turn on get back to the screen you have another option to find and erase your device. You click on this option and you're going to be directed to Google Find My Device, the classic application from Google through which you could do a lot of things when your device is actually misplaced. If this is turned on well and good, if it is not turned on, you need to ensure that this is actually turned on so that when your phone is lost or stolen or misplaced, you could go ahead and try and get your phone back. You could lock your device or you could even go ahead and ring your phone even if it is in silent mode and you could also go ahead and erase your phone completely with whatever data you have through your Google account. Now, another interesting feature about Find My Device or Google Find Hub is finding devices that are offline. So you click on this option, find your offline devices, and you get directed to the screen on which you have an option to turn this setting on. If you select the third option with network in high traffic areas only, there is a high probability that you are going to find your device even if it is like switched off completely. So sometimes what happens is that, you know, thieves, they take away your phone and they manage to remove the same and switch off your phone because these days some android phones come with a feature known as powered off finding if you have this feature on your phone you turn it on your device is still going to be traceable using crowdsourced network of android devices and can actually help you locate your lost or stolen phone quickly if my video is helpful give it a thumbs up subscribe and hit the bell notification icon take care my friend